There's 104 days of summer vacation. We're just about at the end of it. But there's time to squeeze in one last race. This is a runner's weekend in Boston, Massachusetts. a little bit after two o'clock in the afternoon here on a Friday in Boston, Massachusetts. Just got into town a couple of hours ago. I'm here so that I can run the Falmouth Road Race on Sunday. Very excited for it. I ran it last year. Very excited to be able to run it again. Got a couple hours before the rest of the group meets up. So I thought I'd go for a run. We are about one hour into the run. I've already turned back a couple miles ago now. The original goal for today was to take a taxi over to Heartbreak Hill and run the Boston Marathon route, or as much of it as I could, back to the hotel. But I didn't want to bring my phone with me on this run. And because I didn't have my phone, I couldn't call an Uber or a Lyft. Because I couldn't do that, I was forced to have to try and inhale a taxi. Now, I can't remember the last time I took like an actual, like hail a cab taxi. And as I was thinking about it on my way down in the elevator, I was realizing that I can't remember the last time I've seen a taxi like in Boston. And so I went to the guy at the front of the hotel and I was like, Hey man, can you help me get a taxi? And he's like, a what? Why can't you just use your phone or your Uber? I was like, ah, I'm gonna go run and uh, I don't have a phone with me. And so he tried to get me a private car and it would have cost me 70 bucks to get out there. So I decided, you know what? I'm just gonna run around a little bit for today and uh, run along to Charles. And then now I'm gonna see if I can hook back up with the rest of the Boston Marathon route and at least see the finish, because I've never seen the finish before. Just made the right turn onto Hereford. You know what comes next. It is, what is it, Saturday? Saturday morning, 8 a.m. here in Boston. We're heading over to the group run. We've got a bunch of people over here heading over together. First, we got Thomas from the Believe in the Run. Thomas, what are you shooting with today? Insta360. We got Brandon from Believe in the Run. What do you got? We got a Sony A7 III. Nice. We got Connor from Running Warehouse. Connor, what are you shooting with today? Uh, we got a little GoPro 10 Black. Not only the best. <laughs> you got the extendable selfie stick this time. Tommy, what are you what are you shooting with today? Shooting with a uh, with an iPhone 13 Pro, right? Um, these people have like their GoPros and like their fancy cameras that Brandon has. It's super unnecessary, you know? <laughs> like Mike, running warehouse. What are you shooting with today? Sony FX3. Uh, we got a 24 to 70 Sigma. Little RS3 Ronin action. Nice. Just got it, so it's pretty cool. Drew at home, run testers. What are you filming with today? Uh, GoPro 10. What do you, what do you got that on? Uh, on this little thing. 
extendable? Uh, yeah, it's extendable. It's not long enough though for me because I'm six six. Yeah, well, that's so, a good. That's a good size though. It's a good size, but I need like maybe seven yeah. to twelve more inches. Oh, all right. I mean, cool. That's what she said. Guys, we made it to the Marathon Sports on Boylston, and man, this tour is literally on the finish line. ASICS HQ, gonna get a preview on um, what's coming in 2023. I don't think I could show anything to you guys yet. If there's anything I show you, I'll let you know. But for me, other than getting to see what's coming down the pike, the thing that I'm most excited for on a kind of like ground floor level, kind of like zoomed in level, is the bubble water dispenser. Hopefully it's working. Fast forward four hours later, we are done at the A6 office. We can't talk about anything we just saw. Right, Tommy? Nothing, I'll say nothing. Yeah. I didn't uh, see anything actually. Overall, without disclosing anything, without giving any hints, you feeling good about 2023 for A6? What are your thoughts? I'm feeling very good about 2023 for A6. I think they've made a lot of upgrades, a lot of adjustments, a lot of looks and colorway changes. I think it's gonna be a dope year for them. Yeah, I feel like they're this year's strong for them. They're gonna build on that. Yeah. They're taking bolder moves next year. Bold. So. Yeah, the year 2023 for them should be called the year of boldness. I mean, it's exciting. It's like the change, the kind of changes that I like to see. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. very excited about it. Now, we got a little bit of time, yeah. and then dinner. So I'm gonna try to be there. I'm gonna tell myself I gotta be there 10 minutes early because I'm always a little late. <laughs> same, so. same. All right. Be there for dinner. <laughs> okay. All right. Good morning, guys. How are you guys feeling? Good. How are you feeling? Great. Got off the first bus. That is the second bus. You gotta take the first bus to the staging area to check your bags. You can't bring bags on these other buses. And we're over here now at the starting line. Guys, it is about 8 a.m. Doing a quick warm-up jog here. Got Drew. 
We got Tommy Runs over there. We got Joe. We run 313. We're warming up. Gonna do about a mile jog and then get ready to start the race. What's going on, Clayton? How's it going? Looking good. Medical height. Hi, Diane. Good to see you. What's going on, Mason? Hey. You can't run together? You can't warm up together? What's up with that? Looking good. All right, guys, I'm seeing a lot of vapor flies, some adios. Was those, are those Takumi Sens? No. Oh, well. I, there's Alpha Fly 2s right there. See some Metasp Metaspeed Sky 1s. Smojis, yeah. yeah. The Sunburst Star Orange. I think we got some Pumas over there, too. Yeah, there's a Fast R. Someone's wearing Fast R. What's going on, Kyle? Good to see you, man. How are you? Well, good. Guys, we got Elite Men. We got Dropping Pro 3s. We got a lot of Vapor Flies. Some Alphas, Ekadin Pack. Some Puma Nitro Elites. Someone's up there in 880s. Ooh, we got some Rocket X2s. Whoa, original, original Hoka Rockets. Greg Lars in the Vanished Carbon. Thirty seconds to the start now. Thirty seconds to the start. Here we go. Now we can really start to party. Let's have some fun. Throw those hands up when you come across that starting line. Let's have some fun. All right, guys, we're underway. 50th Thomas Road Race. I see Connor up there with Brandon. I see. Tommy up there, everyone's way ahead of me. <laughs> Okay, I clocked in at 20 minutes and 20 seconds. A little bit slower than gold pace, but given the heat, I think that's probably aggressive. Ooh. The Falmouth Road Race is a kooky distance of just over seven miles. The first half is hilly and the second half is hot. The course ends with a giant uphill and this year was the hottest Falmouth ever. But even though it's just about the worst conditions for racing, the people you run with and the people that come to support this race, they make this one of the best running experiences a person can have.
Yo, what's going on?